Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Dirita Yutu, yes, also known as the guy that went all into Bitcoin after selling his house and started to travel the world with his family of five. Yes, three daughters and a wife. Yes, I'm surrounded by women all day long. And that's not always positive because they have the period now and then. <laughs> In today's video guys, of course talking about Bitcoin, showing you the chart that I already shared a couple of times before, but that now is like being confirmed by the move in Bitcoin, so we can see exactly what is happening in Bitcoin. Also of course taking a look at the Bam Bam indicator, taking a look at Twitter, because I tweeted something last night before I went to bed, and I think I will do this every night now. Before I go to bed, I wish something, and then mostly when I wake up, it just happened. Beautiful tweet. And after that, yes, we are going to look at the news that I read this morning during my delicious cup of coffee, talking about Grayscale, talking about Monster Cat, talking about Sushi Swap, Uniswap, and talking about DeFi for you because they are building something really cool. Some really cool information in today's video. So watch the video till the end. Enjoy it. Bam! First things first, let's take a look at the Bitcoin chart. Let's jump into the Bitcoin TA part, the part where I bomb you with these really cool Bitcoin and sometimes also other currencies charts. But today we have a really cool four hour Bitcoin chart. This one, bam. Yes, do you recognize this chart? Of course you do, because I already shared this chart a few times this week. This is this huge flag pattern. Was it a flag pattern? Was it a falling wedge? We didn't know for sure, but now we know that we broke out. Bitcoin just broke out to the upside of this line. We went all the way to 38,000 US dollar, coming back to 36,000 US dollar now, probably again testing now the top of this flag line to be confirmed that we can go up from there again. If we do this retest and then we break this flag line to the bottom, we will, we will fall back into this pattern. If we retest this top line and then go up again from there, yes, then I think that very soon we will see a 45k price or even a 50k price in Bitcoin. This is the four hour chart and if we zoom out, then we can see the bigger picture. So let's zoom out into the weekly chart, this chart, bam. On this weekly chart, you can again see that we are fighting this midline of the logarithmic growth curve. Yes, you also remember this chart because I shared this one already a few weeks ago. And on this chart, you can see that we are now fighting this midline. This midline is around 36K. And that is exactly the level we just broke and we are now above and probably maybe will retest. And if we break down to that one, then the question is, will we repeat the 2013 move or the 2017 move, or will we create a completely new move? If we would repeat the 2013 move, we would fall back to the 21 moving average line, the yellow one on the chart, and then we will be going sideways for some weeks before we try to break that midline again, and then we go into this acceleration of this huge bull run. If we repeat the 2017 move, then we would quickly fall very sharp to this 21 MA, but then also bounce quickly above again and then try to break this line again and then bam, go into the acceleration of the bull run. Yes, in both scenarios, the result will be an acceleration into the bull run, which could bring us above the 60K Bitcoin price level all the way up to the 100K that the stock to flow model has been predicted already, predicting already for many years. So yes, we will see some dips and we will see some runs and we have some emotions going on in this completely completely emotional roller coaster ride that you have when you are living the Bitcoin life. But on the end, when you zoom out, the target is still 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. And that makes me just very positive. Also on these days where it's cloudy here in Portugal. Bam! Which brings me to my tweet from yesterday. I think I should tweet a little bit more because I tweeted yesterday evening before I went to bed. I think it was 1230 or something. And it was like, Guys, good night. Hopefully we wake up tomorrow at 35K. And I woke up this morning. You know, the tweet was when Bitcoin still was 31K, 31, 
thousand five hundred US I think. And I woke up this morning and Bitcoin was at 37k. So yes, tonight I'm going to do a wish again before I go to bed. Let's see if I can pump Bitcoin up to 40k. If that one is okay again, then I will tell you where I have hidden my secret glass ball. <laughs> I don't expect that one to be correct as again, but if it is, then somebody is listening over there, or Satoshi is my neighbor, or my glass ball is working, or I'm sending so much positive energy to Bitcoin community that we will blast the whole resistance level of 40k. BAM! I don't have a BAM indicator chart today for you guys because I didn't trade yesterday. Um, I couldn't trade because it was too busy because we launched the BFAT for free for all the users and that is having some problems in startup phase. So yes, a lot of people having questions and all that stuff. Some people making profits already. Some people are losing a little bit. Some people are doubting about if this project is going to work. Please be aware that we are giving this BFAT away for free. The BFAT is an automated trading bot that we are giving away for free we are doing this and we are building this project so we can earn some referral fees on the exchanges and with these referral fees we are creating a fund and this fund will be created to help poor people all over the world so you can just do what you always do you can trade but because you use our referral link to sign up to Bybit where you can get a $600 deposit bonus at the moment we get some fees because you signed up and then when you start to trade we earn some fees as well if you try if you trade manually or if you trade with the bfat automatically we earn some fees and these fees are flowing into a fund no these fees are not flowing into my pocket i am not going to buy a lamborghini i'm not even going to buy a tesla i'm not going to buy any luxury stuff of these funds we as a huge bitcoin family all the members inside the discord all the members watching this youtube videos all my twitter followers we are family we are the bitcoin family we are going to use that fund that we fill up with all these projects to help poor people all over the world to give some micro loans to give some donations to homeless people homeless kids build up some projects that is what i started to build with the bitcoin family and that is not what we now as a bitcoin family try to reach I don't need the Lamborghini guys. I'm happy here in the forest. I'm happy on the beach. I'm happy in my hut. Even if it's a bamboo hut, I am happy. I want to change this world. I want to do a small contribution in changing this world. And that is why I launch all these projects. And that is what we do with all the referral fees. No, they don't go into a very expensive hotel or very expensive houses or very expensive trips or very expensive cars. No, they will flow to the people that really need it at the moment. The world is and problems we have a lot of people that don't have jobs at the moment because of this flu situation we have a lot of people that need to close their restaurants their businesses and there are also countries that can't afford to help those people so we can and that is why i do all this shit every day again in and out youtubing editing publishing talking chatting interviews all this stuff just to try to create a huge family that cares about other people and by using these beautiful tools of the blockchain and cryptocurrency to change the world for the better. It sounds very cliche, um, but it's the truth. And I can't say anything else than the truth. So thanks for all the support you have been giving the Bitcoin family. I'm talking too much again. So let's jump now into the news part, the part where I bomb you with the news that I read this morning during my delicious cup of coffee. This part, bam! And yes, I'm walking circles because I don't want to go too far from the house because I have a lot of stuff to do. So I will walk that way again. The first news I read this morning is one of the news that makes me very positive about the Bitcoin price going up. And that is that it's Grayscale. They are buying 50% more Bitcoins than they are mined. This means that in the first 16 days of this year, they bought 50% more Bitcoins than the miners were able to send to the market so in 16 days they bought 40,000 bitcoins in those same 16 days only 26,000 bitcoins were mined 
So they are buying all the Bitcoins. So PayPal still needs to buy Bitcoins. Mass Mutual still needs to buy Bitcoins. Guggenheim needs to buy Bitcoins. All these companies still need to buy Bitcoins. After the 1st of February, when MicroStrategy, Michael Saylor is going to do the presentation and give away the playbook to all these S&P 500 CEOs, they want to buy Bitcoin, but all the Bitcoins are already bought up every day. So this will create a supply crisis and a supply crisis will lead into a huge increase of the Bitcoin price. So this is a very positive news article. Again, yes, I really like this guy, Michael Saylor. You know, he's buying a lot of Bitcoins. Hopefully he's not a bad guy at the end that is going to short, going to do the big short. You know that movie, The Big Short? I hope he's not that guy. That, I hope he's not one of these guys. I hope he really understands the power of Bitcoin and that he really understands that at the end, the power of Bitcoin and blockchain will change the world for the better and that he was one of the people that drove the adoption into this industry, which is a very positive thing. Maybe he will win the Nobel Prize for this. Whatever. I don't care. I'm just very happy happy that he's buying all up the bitcoins because that is helping everybody to understand the power of bitcoin bam I didn't talk about NFTs a long time again, but yes, let's take some attention to the NFTs again, because Monster Cat, I think it's an EDM, electronic dance music label, they launched a series of NFTs. They sold for 180,000 US dollars NFTs in two minutes. There's a massive amount of dollars for NFTs in two minutes times. So these NFTs, I keep repeating it, it was a long time ago, but I talked about it many times before already, is becoming a new economy on itself as well. So do your own research into these NFTs. I am still searching for a person that can help me to create really cool NFTs for the Bitcoin family, and um, because I think we could do really awesome stuff with this, like doing an, uh, doing auctions to auction these NFTs, and then use the revenue from the auction from these NFTs, again, to fill that fund that we are going to use to help people all over the world. So yes, I am still digging in the NFT world and you should as well because maybe when you're a good artist or you can create something beautiful online, you can sell it as an NFT and you can make a quick buck in Bitcoins if you prefer. BAM! Yes, I'm talking very fast because I want to make a short video today. At least I will try because I'm not, never succeeding in this because I just talk too much every time again. But SushiSwap and Uniswap, you probably all heard of them. Uniswap is the biggest decentralized exchange. SushiSwap is growing bigger and bigger. And they now had a merger with Yarn Finance, you know, that one that grew tremendously in price. And that combo is now trying to um, eat a little bit of Uniswap's market share. And how are they doing it? Because they are evolving now from an exchange. Uniswap is an exchange, a decentralized exchange. SushiSwap was also a decentralized exchange. But now because of the merger with Yarn Finance, they are a site of being an exchange, also a lending platform, also creating liquidity pools, becoming a cross-chain and becoming a launchpad at the same time. So now this SushiSwap is evolving from an exchange to a multi-usable project and that is why they are eating a little bit of the market share of Uniswap. All positive as long as more and more decentralized exchanges will pop up because I love the decentralization of exchanges because I hate KYC and all that stuff that the centralized exchanges now are obliged to ask you because else you can't use that service anymore very positive news in my opinion bam then we have one more news item i read this morning that was about defi for you defi for you is building a project that you as a person can for example create a pawn shop that will give out lendings to people all over the world in exchange for collateral that those people will give you. And this collateral, of course, can be many things in the future. And that is the beautiful part of this DeFi project, DeFi for you. Because this collateral can be an NFT, that can be a house, that can be a car, that can be a ring, that can be a hoodie, that can be an autograph, that can be so many stuff because it's all embedded into a smart contract and that is how this project is trying to build one kick-ass marketplace, pawn shop, whatever you refer to it. I think it's a very small start now. I think they still need to start. I think it was even a sponsored message on Cointelegraph that I read, but 
you know, some of these can be very cool projects. So that is why I'm keeping an eye now on D5 for you, because I want to see how this will evolve. And why? Because I was one of the fans of the pawn shop series that was always like on television, you know, pawn shop with these guys. I forgot the name. Um, I loved the pawn shop concept. I even had a pawn shop in my old days as an entrepreneur. So I understand the way of thinking of a pawn shop. I understand the economics of a pawn shop. And I can completely understand when you take all that, and paste it on the blockchain and make it possible for people all over the world to interact with each other in a secure way that you will have a successful project. But let's see how this will evolve. That was already all the news for today, guys. Again, we don't have any BAM indicator chart today. We have a lot of discussions going on on the Discord server about the BFET, about the BAM indicator, and yes, also now about the Bitcoin family TikTok swing trader, because that one will go live on the 1st of February. The BAM members already received it for free. And yes, this swing trader yesterday gave a very beautiful indication to buy Bitcoin. And if you would have followed the swing trader yesterday, today you would now be in a huge profit because yes bitcoin went up to 37 38k and that is beautiful to see um it is a short video because today again a video will go live by gokshine media about the bitcoin family just family life without charts and blockchain news just how we live as a family will go live today i will share the link of course in the socials tonight i want to thank you for watching today if you enjoyed the video please give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification notification bell and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments and I love to be educated in the comments by you. Thanks for watching. Always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in that life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. I wish you an awesome weekend and a beautiful Friday night and always drink a few Bacardi Cokes together with me when the moon is in the sky and no, nah, I won't see it. It's too cloudy. BAM!